Yo, what is going on guys? God Rector here today, bringing you a exclusive commentary from my main account game. I don't often do off-stream commentaries on my main account, due to the reason that a lot of the games require a lot of energy. However, I do want to try to practice this, so this is more like a practice type of game, I guess, for this type of commentary. I might not be entirely the best at commentating all my actions on a main game, but I will try nevertheless just for the future of my channel. But anyways, in this game, we're against a Quinn. This is a Quinn one trick with fleet footwork. This person also has teleport too, which is probably one of the more uncommon play styles. Typically, a lot of people will play against Ignite or even Cleanse. I think when Quinn has Cleanse, it becomes one of the hardest matchups. Or like, not hardest, but the matchup becomes noticeably harder. But without um, that, she's pretty easy to me. I don't really ever see myself losing. I lost once for the first time in like a while recently. And that was mainly for the reason that I just couldn't really do a lot and I was getting camped on top of that. Quinn never really killed me, but it basically denied all my kill pressure and my way of playing the game. And something that I like to do often as well, as you can see, is that I like to go this exhaust strategy. Some of you might question, why am I going exhaust top lane? Exhaust is a really good summoner if you want to kind of enable your jungle or even enable yourself to win 1v1 battles. Things like Vayne, Alawi, Quinn, these are like my free matchups I would like to go Exhaust. I don't always do into Alawi unless I'm a little bit tilted possibly. Otherwise I'll just go Ignite. But in terms of like these range matchups, as soon as you Exhaust at level 6 and you cut, cut off their movement behind them, they can't really run away from you. So it becomes quite like an easy scenario in being able to kill them. And if you go like a damage build or even go on Stride Breaker, you can also attack them down or just like out DPS them into a one shot. Like it's pretty good for that. However, it's a bit harder when they have exhaust as well, so that's definitely something we need to consider as well in the matchup. Another way of looking at exhaust too is, because this this um, summoner can be used on basically anybody, you can put it on a person, you, that'll do less damage, especially, especially good here like against this team comp, right? We have Vayne, we have Jace, Quinn, anytime the exhaust is on them, they're not going to do as much damage, so it's a really good way to cut off damage for your team. And if you're playing like a frontline play style too, it adds even more supportive power into the game as well. So it's really good for that as well. So if my jungle comes level 3, I can drop the exhaust down, Quinn's moon speed becomes lower, and also her damage is also lower for the fights, even 2v2s. So it's a pretty incredible summoner when you consider it that way in higher MMR. Anyways, for this matchup, I'm going to go D-Shield and um, Potion first. Ever since the buffs to Doran's items, I always typically go this, just before I like... It's out of safety, and the stats are just too good to, like, you know, to kind of pass up on. Like, before, I'd go Longsword free if I felt really confident in my actions, but because the way the Dawn's Lime's changed and everything, I started going into more of a defensive style and just going off, like, stats alone. D-Blade and D-Shield are very good for that, of course, so we'll just opt into that. Also, excuse me a second. Just going to be having a drink. So, the end of the season is coming up in over a month. I'm not really going to be playing a lot of games, so I do want to try and get like the best commentaries that I can out before I go. Because I'll be leaving for the month in um, December. So, I'll try to have like videos uploading for that time. And also, I'll be trying to like do as many of these commentaries as I can. And try to give you guys really good content while I leave. To maybe like help you guys in your end climb as well. If you guys would like to see that, or is any specific thing you'd like to know before I go, make sure to leave in the comments below. So no one came from this bush, something I can do, but I'm probably already going to lose that one, is going to bush here first. It's a lot harder if um, they're not leashing. So I'm going to run into this bush first and I can soak XP. I can go here, potentially. Okay, no one's here. In another game, you can just run straight to the bush and I probably recommend that a lot more. Just so you have intel. But you also want to be careful you don't also lose your health. So it's kind of a double-edged sword if they're there or not. So I'm not sure what ability it is, I always forget, but it's a Quinn's Vault. I believe it's her E. So level 1, she'll typically go for auto attacks and E's, and you just want to like wait in the bush. As long as you don't give that like E proc and like any extra damage on top of them, it's like pretty good. I'm going to have to give up farm early, and that's completely, I'm completely fine with that. As long as I'm keeping my health up, just doing what I can here, it's pretty good. Play off the edge, walk back out. She gets me there, but it's completely fine. I mean, you know, she took some damage in the process. Bit of a mistake there. I over-greeded for farm in that scenario. Let's stay back. Also, I took D-Shield second wind here. These are my runes. 
and played ranked today, so my gameplay not, might not be the cleanest. EQ out there. Right back. I'm getting wave push here. It's pretty unique at times. I'm level 3 now though. I'm actually very strong. Just need to play off my E. Something I can also do as well is let Quinn auto attack me. My minions will start doing damage to her, as you can see here. And the more minions I have building up in this wave, she's going to take like a lot of damage here. Viego wants to invade while I have Quinn match up. It'd be very bad if she pushed in, but here I'm just going to kind of assist that and push in the wave. I could cheer recall too with this. I think Quinn might know this. Because she knows this. She wants to kind of like delay that, as you can see. She's trying to like push the way back out. Hmm. Did he take the blue though? No, he didn't take the blue. He's already gone. I have no W now. Need to be a little bit careful. I just showed that I have no um, abilities. Well, this Quinn's very passive. Didn't really account for that, to be quite honest. I wouldn't say Quinn's damage is a threat. The only threat of this matchup is if, like, she gets prior early. And because there's no threat now, I can just kind of back on this. This buy. Pretty good compromise in items. I get boots. I have a long sword. My item of choice is going to be Strybreaker Rush here. Strybreaker allows me to slow. allows me to, like, have this, you know... Aoi slow, which is going to be very helpful against these range champs. They're basically banking off the fact that these people are going to play in ra off range. If we can, like, isolate them and have anything to, like, keep them there, it's going to be really huge. I would say Viego should have come for the gank here, but it's completely fine. I don't want to lose too much health. She has teleport, I don't. If I was to, like, go and fight now off this, like, recall... I'll lose all my health. She TPs back. I can't execute her here. Like, I can't finish the kill. So if I lose all my health here, it's really bad. I go for some EQ trades. That's fine. But I need to not fully commit. The wave here. Technically, I can just run her down now, too. Playing really passive. Got time my W there. She gets a lot of moon speed. But quite a good duration though. So something you can do is time the W. It's actually harder than it looks. I don't often time that well. But the lower ping that you have, and if you can like right click in time off the buffer, it's like pretty big. She's six now. She wants to pam room. Poking me a lot here. I avoid that by walking back out. Gonna get a shove again. Building up Fury. For my max this game, I'm going Q max into E because I can't really use the W a lot. Right now in this time, I'm just gonna go down here, drop some vision for Intel. Deny ward. Put this there. Okay, there's nothing to be here. So probably on the bot side. It's good to get this um, free vision here for my team, so we can use it reliably. Quinn hit 6 now. This is the biggest mistake a lot of Renekton mains make into this matchup. They allow Quinn to perma roam. But with this Q max we're doing here, I can keep her in the lane. If I keep shoving in minions here, it looks like I'm just giving farm and stuff, but Quinn's whole, like, kit works off her roaming. If I'm just to, like, give her that access of roaming, like, it's going to allow her to get kills and, like, snobble her teammates into the game. So, I have to deny that. I'm kind of keeping this a little bit slow here, this push. Trying my best here. Viego wants to come for the gank. She has everything up. I might put another point in W here, just for damage. Okay, I think she's aware. She's aware. Nah, I think I need Q. need Q here. Okay, quickly get out of there. EQW. I have long cooldown now, though. Hot up here. You need to come now. It's now or never. Exhaust. Get off the flash there. All fine. 
Should I just teleport though? This is so this is so worth, right? Again, Quinn Quinn's mistake in this part is her letting me push. If she lets me push, we can just get a free dive off. I exhaust first, so she has to flash, but she's slowed down and Viagra can catch. So it's pretty good there. Gonna rush the plated steel caps here. Really big buy. She's basically gotta do no damage now. She also had to buy armor early, which is pretty good for like our you know jungle on top. But um she doesn't have any damage. She doesn't have any damage, so it's pretty bad. Iron Spike Whip is also good here because I can, you know, push pretty fast with my Q. I can basically one-shot the minions with a whip and Q. Even next season with Tiamat, I'll be able to do that as well. Just like push in here. Can't do a lot else. I'm really getting my W's off a lot this this game. We can just dive again. We actually can just dive again here. Unless, um, I think Viagra wants to back. That's actually fine. Nami's looking for something top, though. I think, I think we just, um, wait for R and go for dive again. Maybe I can go for EQs in the meantime. Perfect combo there. Did a Q cancel with a W instead of the auto. She's low now. He should just run straight top here. It's literally so free. He's gonna do red instead though. I mean, is she gonna waste her abilities? Oh, I see you. I see you. Yo, we go for this. We have to go for this. I'm gonna prep my auto here. Prep for that. I actually wanted to give him the kill there, to be quite honest with you. Jungle always snowballs a lot harder in high, high reload, so if you're watching from a high reload perspective, it's always pretty good just to give the kill there for a Viago. A champ that has chain snowballs on the map. So every little kill and like access of gold is going to be humongous. Pressure in the tower here. Got Viago on Rift Herald. Pretty good. Just completely stifling Quinn. It's down to her own play. I didn't get the playing. Oh, wait. What's. Wait, that's so bad for us though. In, in both scenarios. Ah. Jace roamed. I also miss playing some after standing there. Hmm. Maybe I could have moved in quite like quite honestly. I didn't expect him to have like no mana at all. Why the champ doesn't use mana? What am I talking about? <laughs> no, but what I meant to say is like I didn't expect it just to go like so wrong though as well. And Zoe, I guess, wasn't on the map. Yeah, he seems a bit tilted. It's actually my bad, possibly though. I probably could have just thought about that beforehand. Okay, getting close to Stride Breaker. Exhaust is coming up in 20 seconds as well. What's the flash timer? Always good to check flash timers too. Just so you um, are aware of like what your enemy has. Oh, I don't believe I actually ping flash. Hmm. I thought uh, it was before that. So, it should be in the next like couple minutes, I guess. A minute and a half maybe. Okay, there's a fight mid. I need to, I need to like, um, push the way back. Okay, it's fine. She can't roam or anything. I mean, it's too, it's got, she's got to be too light regardless. But again. Want to keep pushing Quinn in. Don't give Quinn any opportunities to roam. This is how the champion comes back. She can keep wave here. It does, it's not a freeze. It's a slow push. The minions are too fast and they'll kill our minions before uh, they come. And I'll create a pushback. So again, I don't mind this. All I need to do is actually just ward. I have some time here. Maybe I'll just like quickly go. Probably put this ward here. Could go a bit deeper, but I'm gonna miss a bit of XP if I go any deeper. See, I got I got the minion now. I don't want to miss like any bit of XP. I want to stay ahead. You could argue that if I was to let Quinn push, I'd have more room to fight, like room to fight. And you are correct about that, and I would agree. But all she needs to do as well is not try to fight. And I don't want to fight in a big minion wave either for an all-in right now. I need to trim it down more. Jace is also off the map. I'm kind of giving him time to roam up. It would be very likely. There's no objectives here. I could just perma push, but I have to use my E as well. My EQ and whip. I could just check in this bush. See if anyone's coming. Okay. Constantly think about everything I'm doing here. Oh, she used she used um two abilities. No, it's the vault. I can go. 
Okay. It's okay. That leaves his mana too. Jace is still not on the map. Have to be careful. What I was trying to do is double dash behind her so she vaults from my side. It's a little trick you can do. If you E fast enough here, you can like quickly, um, like she'll bounce back onto your side of the tower. And that's where you get your all ins. You have to be really quick. This is why Boots is also a good rush into like as Renekton. I need to push right now. Quinn wants to get everything she can get. Okay, W'd. I don't have, sadly. We can we can go there. I use a bit of fury to get push, but we have time. I have ult. I have ult. This is why I go for this. It's completely fine. Dude needs to make his mind up. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, I don't know what he's doing here. Too late. Now I don't have fury. I don't know, our jungle is, what can I say? Okay. okay, great. Um, Maokai is dead, Jace is mid. I can maybe take one more playing, or at least get shove here, like for the next wave. Okay. Ah, fuck. Hmm, do I want to take? No, she has teleport. I don't know where Maokai is too. He could just be running top for all I know. Could be a psycho. Got our strike breaker now. If you really, if you're playing like in a pro play scenario, or like maybe even like competitive, like amateur, to help your teammates and to prepare for like second dragons, third dragons at that point in the game, you could go random and rush second. Very cheesy against crit comps like this. Very cheesy, but you can do that. Instead, I will buy it third item. I think third item is a really good choice. Very good choice, in fact. Okay, we've got Maokai there. He's pathing topside. Always a point tracking jungle too. If you can track where jungle is, you can make any play happen. She doesn't do damage to me. I want my ult though, before I all in, to be quite honest. Oh, now we're going in now, instead. It's okay. Well, Maokai altered, I guess. Is he fighting this? I don't know. I mean, I'm just running back. I don't care about this. I don't care about this. I'm not gonna coin flip a death into Jace who has all the kills right now. I can probably fight, but I might get CC'd by Maokai and Quinn. It's just best for me to, to just to like keep my gold, you know? If I had that, if I had all that fight, then I could have killed the Quinn as well. Quinn's bot. Hmm. Don't know. Really bad what my team just did. Again, this is the example, right? Like if hmm. Quinn has ult here still, maybe. I mean, I just killed us. I can even kill uh, Maokai now too. He's AP. Let's go for... I'm gonna kill them all. Just casually doing this in a Masters game, of course. Okay. Jace might be coming though. Mm. Do I risk? It's a big death here, he's already fed. I'll just leave this. Run now. I can't stay any longer. I need to run as fast as I can. There he is. If I was to greed all the way there, I'm just ending up killing myself. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Jana. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that just came out of nowhere. <laughs> so that's pretty good for us. Quinn just running it down there. I know I killed that. We need to help. We need to get there. It's a back though. Quinn got pushed. He's gonna roam now. Every single time. Textbook. Okay, she stays for tower. All right. Interesting. But can we go for this instead? She's gonna start dipping now. We cut them off. We cut them off here. I don't have. 
Hmm. Just gonna suicide here. Zoe gets a kill. Dragon's up though. Start walking to there instead. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, how did she live? <laughs> that was so random. Dragon's doing points, I'll win con. At this point in the game, as a top lane, you have to think what your win con is for the rest of the game. We've already won lane. We have to try and get dragons. Try to just force fights. It's my team here. I'm waiting for an opportunity. I'm cutting them off. I'm cutting them off again. He's stuck. Well, he died. Mm, I don't want to take all the kills. It's kind of bad of me to take all the kills right now. But I'm really fed. I can even get my random wins early. And these guys are going to do absolutely nothing to me. We can go for tower. All the damage is dead. Quinn might be roaming. We have time though. We're looking at a map right now. Checking where Quinn is. Okay, let's go. Right now, we're just top the thing. This game is literally just top diff. The thing is, I have a maximum of two deaths this game. If I choose to die at any point of here, it will go lose the game. Like, if I die past this. So, I can't really afford for that to happen. I need to, like, always do the smart players, do what, like, is necessary to win the game. We have Baron in 44. We could get pick into Baron. Our team comp is pretty okay at that. Jace's bot lane. I can take him. My team just has to be careful of how they play. I'm gonna grab some vision down in case the um, room. The illusion is really strong. In fact, we can just keep pushing. Okay, we're so strong here. I just follow the team because we're capable of doing this. Big. Baron, 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 Baron. Baron. Free. Go. I have to macro my team as well. Tell my team what to do. Baron is free here. We don't need to coin flip and potentially die or lose our health. They might even just one shot a minion wave. If we just start this while the jungle's dead and Vayne's dead, we can end up just getting the Baron for free and get an easy early win, possibly. Hope so, at least. They can't stop us, I don't think. Maokai's not in range to ult. If anyone's going to stop us, it's probably... Well, no one. <laughs> Jace is going to push uh, mid now. I'm going to go here instead. My team should be okay. Possibly. Wait, maybe I could wait here. I'm in the vicinity. I'm just waiting for something to happen. Okay, he didn't press up. Didn't get the cannon. It's okay. So what do I do right now as a top laner? We can do 1-3-1. One, one. I don't have teleport, but I can just like roam to wherever I want to. I have a lot more wound speed than usual because I have the Strike Breaker. Strike Breaker helps out a lot with that. Is he really going to try? He's not going to try. He's not about that life. He cleansed too early. He's really strong, but it's okay. We push mid now. Jace was caught. Like, caught randomly there. I don't know why. Now I'm going for a play here, too. I might even go for one-shot combo. Let's at least do one this game. Okay. Maybe we can even end here. Holy shit, we can end. I have exhaust, too. They can't end. I mean, they can't uh, stop us. Nice. Well, that was a really insane game. Played super well. Well, GG. That was a really good game from us. Really good game. China just randomly dying that. <laughs> yeah, guys. Um, that is pretty much it for this video. So, I just want to thank you guys all for watching. Thank you for the su support in the channel, too. We hit 5,000... No, we had... Sorry. We hit 6,000... 200 subs i've barely been uploading again but we're like going at a rapid pace right now and i do want to just thank you all for like sticking by 
and watching. It really means the world to me, and I really thank you guys just for that as well. So if you guys like the content and you want to see more as well, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if there's any videos you want me to make too, if you want me to touch on some topics, they can't be any... They're not going to be like really big type of videos like guides right now, but I will do some like little run-through content maybe just to explain things and do the best that I can to teach you guys because I feel like with the season coming to an end, I do want to help out people get their goals. My goal is Grandmaster, but I don't think I'll be able to reach that right now. The LP gap is too wide and I'm not playing enough, but... Yeah, I mean, if I was to play non-stop, maybe I could. But I think I'll be chilling until uh, next season, for the most part. Yeah, guys, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, uh, you know, thank you, and like, whatever, do all that stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and have a good one.